Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Last January, Inventables reached out to me to see if I would be interested in doing a review of one of their CNC machines. Uh, I was a little reluctant to do it at first because I don't have a lot of space uh, to put something like that in my small wood shop. And also, I don't have a lot of time to build something like that. At least I didn't think I did. But uh, after watching all of the videos on YouTube of other uh, people building this thing and seeing what they could do with it, I was intrigued. So I reached out to them to see if they were still interested in having me do the review. And they were, and they sent me one of their machines, the X-Carve. In this video, I'm going to take it through one of the, actually the first project I ever make with the CNC you're going to see on camera. So uh, let's get started. Carve completely assembled now and I think in total it took around 10 to 12 hours to finish. So when you order your X-Carve it's completely customizable and you can pick and choose which components you want to use uh, to build yours and you can even decide between a large work service and a smaller work service depending on the room that you have available for your X-Carve. I went with their 1000 millimeter uh, table that gives me a work surface of around 31 inches by 31 inches. I made a work table for my X-Carve, which is just made from stud grade 2x4 and a little bit of plywood. And I also put it on casters. So when I'm not using my X-Carve, I can just slide it underneath the outfeed table of my table saw. For this tray, I decided to go with cherry. And I'm gonna put a strip of walnut running somewhere off to the side, not exactly in the center. So I decided I want this tray to be 1.1 inches tall. So instead of uh, removing all this material at the planer, I'm gonna remove the majority of it at the bandsaw and then come back to the planer and take it to its final thickness. Before I cut this piece of cherry in half, which is gonna make up the outer portions of the sandwich, I'm going to make a nice 90 degree edge of the joint. In order to help me get both pieces of cherry in the same plane as each other to have a nice flat bottom, I'm going to use a granite surface plate which has a nice flat surface. So I'm just going to sandwich the piece of walnut in the middle and then when I glue it up, the bottom should be nice and flat and then what's left on top, the walnut is proud of the two pieces of cherry and I'll just take care of that with a hand plane. I have my workpiece clamped down to the work table and I have the design that I'm going to use for this piece in the laptop. I went ahead and honed the bit already on the edge of the workpiece and what I plan on doing is using a hexagon for the design of this piece and I'm not going to cut all the way through on the perimeter. I'm only going to go down to about a half an inch and at the bandsaw I'm going to cut in between the curve for the bit and then clean it up with a flush trim bit. This will make a lot more sense later. Well, that didn't go too well. Something went wrong. It looks like the during the carving, it looks like it shifted on the x-axis a little bit in this direction. And now the home position is over here instead of where it started, which was on the corner of the workpiece. So the workpiece is ruined. Uh, not sure what happened. I think I figured out what went wrong. The pulley on the x-axis was a little loose, so I tightened it down and I'm gonna try it again. This time I'm gonna use some maple.
At the router table, I'm going to use a pattern bit and just flush this edge that was left from the bandsaw. So after a coat of a mixture of boiled linseed oil and varnish, the tray is finished. Not the most exciting project I've ever made, but this video is less about the project and more about sharing with you my first uh, experiences with the X-Carve. Um, I don't know exactly where the X-Carve will fit into how I do woodworking. Um, I can see maybe using it to make templates and maybe some inlay, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a big part of my woodworking. But uh, we'll see how it goes. You never know. Thanks for watching, guys.